Welcome back to my 100 day drawing challenge 2020. Today's day number 30 and the prompt is armor. I had absolutely no idea what to draw for this prompt at all. Last year's and 2018's drawings were awful. <laughs> it was awful, they were the most boring, uninteresting illustrations I think I've ever done and uh, I was really really disappointed last year with this prompt. I didn't like the colours, I didn't like the composition of it overall, not that there really was any, it just wasn't very interesting. So I was really really worried for today because I didn't really have any inspiration going into drawing this prompt and I had absolutely no idea what I was going to draw. I didn't want to do a bunch of research again on armour because I did so last year and it didn't really help me out that much. So I decided actually to go a little bit more of a fantasy route with this drawing. So when I started sketching the figure and getting the getting the actual character sketched on the page. I still had absolutely no idea what I was going to draw or like how her clothes were going to be. I just had no idea. So <laughs> I just started drawing. It was just a case of winging it and <laughs> just seeing what happened and completely improvising. I started to draw the armor on top of the character because the prompt is armor. So I knew that there had to be some armor involved. And I knew that I wanted it to be kind of fantasy inspired rather than it being accurate. And I started to draw these like shoulder plates to like protect the shoulders and I kind of did this round shape and it really reminded me actually of the kind of sleeve shape that I draw all the time. There's like a bunch of drawings from this challenge where I do this particular shape for the sleeves, it's kind of like the balloon shape and I think it's really cool and I draw it a lot whenever I'm drawing someone in like a dress or a gown or something I tend to do that kind of sleeve. I decided from that point forth, which I mean I'm already into drawing the character at this point, but I decided at that point that was the direction that I really wanted to go with this prompt because I didn't really have any inspiration up until then. So I decided, you know what, why not just kind of go with that? So rather than just being a character in armor, she was now like a princess warrior, which I thought would be really cool. So I did that kind of balloon sleeve shape and I gave her a long dress which is kind of like draping across the floor. I changed her pose a little bit from what I was initially trying to go for. So she's kind of kneeling um, and she has like a big sword <laughs> which is like comically big and a shield. Um, and I did all these little gemstones and I just thought it was really cool and I decided I wanted to go with gold for the armor because last year I did silver and it just I didn't really have any inspiration for it so I thought why not try and go with gold and try and use all these bright yellows and oranges and so then I thought to contrast that purple might be a nice color to use. I like using purple, I don't think I use it often enough so I have all these really pretty dark deep purple markers that I don't really get an opportunity to use very often so I was really excited to get those out and use those and I thought it would look really nice with the gold. And then there's a little pop of red too. I did heavily consider painting blood spatter everywhere <laughs> like all over a sword and shield and I might even still go back in and do that but I, I don't do that in this video um, because I didn't have any paint because I'm filming in a different space at the moment temporarily and I don't have all of my art supplies with me I just have the essential stuff that I use for every single drawing so I didn't really want to have to go and try and dig out some paint and a paintbrush but if I'd have had one to hand I probably would have painted on blood spatter um, and I thought it would be really difficult to add with marker especially since I don't have any red brush markers I only have red like bullet tip markers so I thought it would be difficult to get the shapes right and stuff um, and I would rather paint it directly on top of the image so maybe I'll do that in the future but uh, I didn't for for this particular one so she's very clean that is the one thing that I thought was a little bit like unrealistic I guess the whole thing is unrealistic but the most unrealistic thing to me was the fact that she looks like she's ready for battle and yet she's just so clean and tidy and there's like no dirt or blood anywhere I thought this one was cool. I think it turned out pretty good considering the fact that when I started drawing I had absolutely no idea what I was drawing. I just kind of made it up as I went along and I think considering that it turned out pretty good. I actually really like the colour scheme. I think that the colours ended up going really nicely together. I didn't really add much of a background to this one. I do kind of wish I'd thought out the background a little bit more, added a little bit more interest to the background and uh, maybe added a block colour. Overall, I think this one's fine. Like I said, I didn't really have much strong inspiration for this one particularly. I had no idea what I was drawing when I went in to draw it. Um, and it turned out okay. 
That's all for today. If you're interested, there's a link to the full challenge playlist on screen and in the description. Subscribe if you'd like to keep up with me completing this challenge and I'll see you tomorrow for another prompt. Take care.